I'm super creepy right now, but we actually just made it to our room at the Grand Californian. So for all you guys who are used to Disney World, this is like the Grand Floridian of Disneyland, I guess is the best way I can explain it. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour around this room before we start to destroy it and start sleeping here. Alright, so we just walked in through this uh, door. When you first walk in, you have a closet, which again, like the other rooms, have your iron, ironing board, your suitcase holder thingy, I don't know what you call it, hangers, baskets. On your right, you have a door, so if you had another party uh, staying next to you, you guys can go back and forth. You have a grand old kitchen area. You have a uh, table that you can eat your breakfast, dinner, and such on. It does not come with an Amy, though. That is the one thing that we... Uh, that, that, it, it, yeah, that, that's a definite upgrade. Um, in here is... because oh, Okay, something else I forgot to tell you. We're DVC members, as you guys already knew that. So our room is a little bit different setup probably than most other ones. Amy, what kind of room is this again? A one-bedroom villa. A one-bedroom villa. So it comes with a dishwasher, an oven, stove top, which does not look like a Mickey on it. I'm kind of disappointed. A microwave, a standard refrigerator freezer, toaster, a coffee maker, a big TV. I am going to guess that this is a pull-out bed of some sort, which I believe is correct, and it is, yes. Okay. Spin back around. So this room actually has two different bathrooms. So this one just has, again, standard sink, toilet, and a shower, stand-up shower. Outside of the bathroom is your washer and dryer because, again, you're DVC members, so you guys get the amenity of being able to clean your clothes while you're here. Why you would want to do that? Unless you have kids, I really don't understand that. This is probably gonna be where Amy's gonna spend a lot of time in. You have a, uh, a bathtub with jets, which also has a viewing of your master bedroom, the one bedroom that we have, which is a king. A really nice sink, I actually do like this a lot. You have another shower with a bench on it, and then another toilet inside of here. Now the one thing I do like about this is it actually has a door on it, so if you wanted your privacy while someone else is showering, or whatever the case may be, Want a little bit more privacy, it actually does have a door on it. So now we're gonna go back out and then go more into the bedroom area, which you do have another closet. This place has a lot of storage. I think this is the lighting here? Nope, there's a light above my head. Um, this is where the house safe is. I'm gonna back back out of here. So this is the king bed. It also comes with a dresser, yeah, big dresser with six drawers on it. This bed actually does have room so you can put your suitcases underneath. So that's a really good thing if you're trying to uh, have space, you know, not, all your stuff not taking up a lot of space, I should say. You have two different nightstands, both with multiple drawers, and you also have a desk. Now the one thing that is good about this hotel compared to the other hotels, this has been upgraded, so there are USB ports. Let me actually show you before I forget. There are USB ports as well as home ports um, for you guys to charge um, all of your electronic uh, uh, devices. Sorry, I'm kind of stuttering, I don't know why. Now, let's go outside. We actually got the pool view. So you do actually have a patio with two chairs and a small table. And then this is the view in which we actually have. This really does remind me of um, Disney World, actually. Can I actually get in through here? Oh yeah, there are, look, there's an Amy. Hi. 
So this actually does remind me a lot of Wilderness Lodge, I'm not gonna lie. It has that woodsy cabin-y type of feeling. So if you guys are used to that type of hotel, you will like this room as well. It's Wilderness Lodge meets Grand Floridian. But with that also being said, I don't feel the Grand Floridian type of feel. I don't feel the luxury of it. So I actually do feel like this is more like Wilderness than, uh, than the Grand, uh, Grand Floridian. Sorry, I can't speak. It's a polished Wilderness Lodge. It's a polished Wilderness Lodge. That's what Amy called it. I'm still sticking with the way I feel. Anyway, so that is the room tour, guys. Make sure you guys subscribe. We have tons of more videos that we're going to be posting. We have, what, two more days left, I think? So if you guys don't subscribe to this channel, click that bell notification. You guys are not gonna be able to see all the fun that we've been having. If you guys have been subscribed, you guys know how much fun we've been having, and there's still gonna be tons more to come. Make sure you guys subscribe, hit that bell notification, like this video if you guys liked us a lot. Please leave a comment below if you guys have ever stayed here, if you feel that we've missed anything, if you get a better view than we ever had, anything you guys wanna talk about, leave a comment below on this video. Guys, thank you for watching and see you real soon.